After this brief introduction of GRX, we will present all the functions of the instrument. This will allow you to understand the features offered by GRX and will train you to be able to use the instrument correctly for ridge reflection measurements. First, we will look at the outside of the GRX and locate the various parts relevant to the use of the instrument. At the front of the instrument, we have the light source based on LED lights, the measurement sensor for reflection measurement and color recognition, and the digital camera for photo and code scanning. Over the instrument front, an angle adapter for entrance angle is mounted. The available entrance angle adapters are minus 4 degrees, plus 5 degrees, plus 10, plus 20, plus 30, plus 40, and plus 45 degrees, of which the first two are standard angles for ASTM and SEN sign geometries. Each angle adapter type has a unique combination of magnets on the back informing the GIX what adapter has been mounted. The entrance angle type can be viewed in the GRX display. The adapter itself is fixed to the instrument by magnets. GRX comes with a 5-inch Android color touchscreen easily visible also in bright sunshine. The instrument can automatically adjust the screen light intensity depending on the ambient light. The handle holds the trigger and a rechargeable battery. The battery is a BOSS type and can be purchased from the market. The following features are located underneath the instrument. USB port for data transfer, power button, service port, buzzer, loudspeaker, and fixture for extension pole. This instrument is turned on by pushing the red power button under the instruments. After some time, the system has booted and the instrument will be ready for use. The GRX automatically switches to standby mode if not used for a period of time. The length may be adjusted under settings. From standby mode, the instrument is ready within one to two seconds. To activate standby mode, push the power button shortly. To switch off the instrument, push the power button for a few seconds until power off is written in the display. When turned on, the instrument always go to measurement mode and show the measurement information from the last measurement. The touchscreen is based on Android technology and the user can operate the screen by using these movements. Tap, swipe, and pinch. We will look at the many features offered by the GRX when measuring retroflection of retroflective materials like signs, license plates, and reflective type tapes. This is how the main screen of the GRX looks in measurement mode. At the top of the screen, we can locate the following icons. Wi-Fi hotspot, system warning, GPS, Bluetooth connection, Wi-Fi signal, battery status, and time. At the top left corner of the second line of the screen, the menu can be opened by tapping this icon. Opening the menu can also be done by swiping the screen from left to right. At the top right corner is information about the angle adapter type attached and information about the measurement series activated with the number of measurements in this series. We now open the menu. Uh, at the top of the menu is the name of the user located. The menu consists of the following elements. Measurement, series, users, templates, lock, calibrate, and settings. 
We will now focus on the operating information explaining how the elements work and how measurements are set up and conducted. We will review the items in the order in which we would suggest the user does. In general, when you enter data or measure, data are automatically saved. Settings. Bluetooth. In this section, the Bluetooth connection can be activated and deactivated. The Bluetooth connection is to activate measurements when using the extension pole for elevated placed road traffic signs. Sound. In this section, the instrument's sound volume can be adjusted on a scale from zero to 15. And the beep function can be activated or deactivated. Display. This section allows the user to choose between user-controlled display brightness on a scale from 0 to 100 or adaptive brightness. When the adaptive brightness is activated, the instrument adjusts the display brightness automatically according to the level of available light. The sleep function allows the user to decide after how long time the instrument automatically turns into sleep mode after inactivation. The function can be adjusted between 15 seconds and 30 minutes by tapping on the display. Language and keyboard. This section allows the user to change language and keyboard layout. GRX is running on Android and all languages available to Android will be available for selection. It will, however, in the instrument menu, only be the languages translated and transferred to the instrument memory who will show up translated in the instrument menu. Date and time. In this section, automatic date and time and automatic time zone can be activated and deactivated. If one or both functions are activated, the instrument will automatically use internet provided information. It requires Wi-Fi connection. About instruments. This section holds information related to the instrument setup and function. This is information which Delta may ask access to in case there's a problem with the instruments. If you need more information on any of these points, please check the user manual. Calibration. It's important to make a daily calibration of the instrument to ensure it measures correctly. This is typically done in the morning before measurement is started. There are two ways to start the calibration procedure. One is to type in the figures of the different observation angle as seen on the screen. The other one is to scan the barcode. We will do the scanning of the barcode. The instrument will automatically focus and capture the different values. Next step is to mount the calibration reference on the front of the instrument, do the calibration, and within one or two seconds, calibration is done. The relevant tools for doing a calibration is located on the back side of the angle adapter. Here you can locate the values to calibrate up against for the different observation angle, the barcode for the scanning, and the calibration target where the actual calibration is done on. When the calibration figures have been entered into the instrument, the angle adjuster with the calibration target on the back has to be turned around to be able to make the calibration. Users. Under users, it is able to edit existing users, enter new users, 
delete users and also filter if you have a lot of names and want to, to search to locate a specific name. We will now enter a new user. It is done by pushing the plus. We will type in a name. We will take mark. OK. And now mark is entered. The name that has been marked is, is the one that will automatically be used for the next uh, measurements. All entries are automatically stored. We will now create a template. A template can be used if there is a larger measurement series which have the same basic data. So in the template, all the basic data will be hosted and will be used for each series of measurement that will be entered and activated. This is the one where we can edit an existing. We don't want to do that. We want to enter a new one. We will call it Highway 45. We will choose a multiple shot. We have now created a template where we can do two measurements of both legend and background color and make a photo of the sign. In the previous selection, we decided for multiple shots. If single shot is required, we can activate this function here. Single shot can be used if just a single measurement is needed for one color. In single shot mode, no photo of sign will be available, but the pass fail function can still be used. If we want to edit or remove a template, we can sweep to the left and tap the activity button. The instrument will automatically detect the color measured. If the color is not correctly identified, this can happen if colors are faded. It will be possible to manually correct the color before a measurement is approved. The last part is to create a series, which is the actual measurement series. And uh, we will choose here one, a new one. The first it asks us is to select the template. We take the one we just created. Highway 45. We will have a name for this series. We will call it Test 21. And you will see the information we entered before under the template is available. If somebody something needs to be changed, it can be changed. If some additional fields need to be added, they can be added. We are now ready to make a measurement. By pulling the trigger, we will see the information we have requested for this measurement uh, series. We can still do some changes if we want to do that. If we are satisfied, we push next. Now we have to place the instrument firmly against the first background color measurement. Fix because we are indoor. We are asked to do second measurement. The first measurement of the and the second measurement of the legend. As you saw, the instrument guide you to what measurements to do. You also saw that the instrument automatically detected the color, the first two measurements, the red background color, and the last two measurements, the white legend color. We confirm the measurements. We can now view the data. We have the two colors, the white and the red. On page two, under the header, we have the basic information about this measurement. The last section is the lock. In the lock, we can view the different measurement series which we have done. 
For each series, we have the option to export and delete. We will revert to export in a short while. By tapping, we will open up this measurements here, which we just did. It consists of two measurements. For export of measurement data to a PC, a USB memory stick is used. The USB is positioned in the USB port underneath the GRX. To transfer measurement data, go to the GRX lock, choose the file to be exported, swipe to the left and tap export. Next, choose what files you want to transfer. Excel as horizontal view, Excel as vertical view. The data output will look like this in Excel. If pass fail has been activated, the individual measurements can be viewed in green when passed and in red when failed. The instrument is powered by a standard Bosch battery, which under normal use requires no maintenance. The battery is equipped with a thermal sensor that only allows charging within a range between 0 and 45 degree Celsius or 32 to 113 degree Fahrenheit. The operating range of the battery is 0 to 60 degrees Celsius or 32 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. The battery will be fully charged in approximately 45 minutes. Errors and warnings. The GRX sends out warning signals in case of an error and operates with these two types of warning symbols. In the user manual section 4, a list of errors and warnings can be accessed, including the possible cause for the error and how to resolve it. Maintenance. The RetroSigned GRX is constructed for outdoor use in fair weather conditions. The retroflectometer can withstand moist weather, but caution must be taken against rain or splashes and dirt from traffic. Even though the GRX is a robust instrument, it is also an optical instrument and must be handled with care. Avoid exposing the instrument to high mechanical shock and vibrations. Avoid exposing the instrument to rapid changing temperatures. When not in use, store the instrument in a carrying case in a clean and dry environment. The lens does not need special maintenance. If dirty, carefully moist the lens with ordinary window cleaning liquid and clean it with a soft lining cloth. If damaged, send the instrument to Delta or one of our authorized service dealers for repair. To make sure that the calibration of the retroreflectometer is correct, it is important that the surface of the calibration target is clean and undamaged. Keep the calibration target protected and be careful not to touch the calibration target, the reflective site. We trust that this instruction video has been useful for you in getting to know the RetroSign GRX and its features. We recommend that you now take the instrument and start making field measurements to become comfortable using the GRX. If you should have any questions to the use of the instrument, please contact Delta or one of our appointed dealers for assistance.